We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. The Yanks aim to notch their seventh win in a row right after this. Jordan Montgomery will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we'll get a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Rosario is retired, and there's one away. So here's Brandon Nimmo. He comes in with a six game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 73 degrees our game time temperature here tonight and then it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now it's strike two. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Joe McDonald. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, d -Row. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you could see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Hit well towards the hole. LeMayhew's got it. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Mets zero. Yankees coming up. It's crosstown action on Major League Baseball, the show. Marcus Stroman. A right-hander from the Empire State gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the here first. For the Yankees, the center fielder, Brett Gardner pitch on the way and here's a cold strike to the 36 year old veteran it's nothing in one fellas these Mets as they enter play here tonight they suffered a bit of a setback last time out but not to worry they're still six and two over their previous eight ball games yeah Maddie dropping their last game now they find themselves at 500 again they got to find a way to get on a hot streak you cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of the season and ride that 500 line all year at some point you're going to have to take seven out of ten eight out of ten to get this going in the right direction hit on the ground down the first baseline and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out the right field Aaron. 
And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Head to head history with Marcus Stroman. He's got a batting average of 444. He's also taken him deep four times. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Cespedes. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. 29 home runs for him on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. And that'll bring up Labor Torres. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And it's one and one. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting four. The designated hitter. John Carlo. Dead Next will be the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Stroman looks in. Here's the delivery. Popped him up. Davis shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. New York off to a 1-0 lead. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Alonzo. Here's the first pitch to him. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Montgomery has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2 0. Oh. Outside and low, 3 and 0. Oh. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Standing in, Wilson Ramos. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. He's set and the pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Lays off again and it's 2 0. He's certainly searching out there on the mound. Five straight balls in a row. You have to take a strike as a hitter right here. Alonzo on at first, nobody out. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. A 3 0. 
And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So striding in, J.D. Davis, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. And that misses one and one. One and one. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Torres at the back. On to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. That is tough. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. So coming to the plate, Michael Conforto, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll miss the target away with a fastball. It's 1 0. Conforto, a 27 year old, he was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Yankees lead this 1 0 here in inning number two. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. He set the payoff pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. Gloved by LeMayhew. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. A couple of walks but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the imposing power bat, Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. And a slider tails outside for ball one. And that's too high, ball two. Stroman, also known as Stro Show at times. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? Fouled off. And 
and he nope. takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Now at the plate, Mike Talkman. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Boom goes the dynamite. Two run shot to straight away center. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Seven homers and 31 RBIs. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Hit in the air to shallow center. Coming in is Nimmo. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting it, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Now with the plate, Miguel Andujar, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Still only one out in the inning. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Mike Ford. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Stroman steps into the windup. Here it comes on 1-0. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2-0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. Now the pitch. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning, but I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. The 1 0 misses for the second ball. Well, you have to have a lot of confidence and composure to pitch effectively, and right now, I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. The 
the 2 1 home. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. Here's the 2 2. Flipped out the other way toward short. In there, a base hit. Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder top, and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft liner in the center field. Here's big Aaron Judge. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible but it's a lot higher than he'd like. set here comes the 1 1 and he looks at one in there one and two hey this is a big pitch right here can't allow them to attack on any more runs let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the third. that's in there base hit well when you're going as well as he is not even a two strike count is going to get in your way yeah Matty he's having a monster season well over 300 right there when you're feeling that confident at the plate it doesn't matter what the count is you're willing to go deep and still feel confident at the plate now Torres as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point ball one and there's ball two now it often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Ready with the 2 1. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Here's the 2 and 2. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Turned on down the line. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. We've played two. It's now 3 0 New York. Now to the plate, Joanna Cespedes, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And he fouls this one off. Behind 0-2 now, Cespedes. Commonly known as La Potencia around baseball. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. The 1 2. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Oh. 
ground ball sent back up the middle. LeMayhew's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Now to the plate, the Mets DH, Robinson Cano, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Cano is in Don't You Know, a part of his New York nickname days. This is the first year of his new four-year contract. And he misses again to Cano. It's 2-0 now. Wow, that's what a veteran hitter will do, right? Takes two really good pitches, both just missing the strike zone and puts himself into a good 2-0 hitter's count. Outside, 3-0 now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. From the belt, kicks and deals. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The 1-0 home is off the plate, up and away. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Three and oh now. From the belt, the pitch. And it'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. So first and second with one man gone. And ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Here it comes, 1-0. Nope, that's the ball. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. From the stretch. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Full count now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at.
guide in the air to straightaway left. Tuckman is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Now batting, number six. In now, Jeff McNeil, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way to short, hit hard. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. They trail it here three to nothing. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitter's tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their Here success. The and they Yankees. said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes hitter. time to compete in the batter's oh, oh. box. Good stuff, Heidi. Stand Thanks. There. Here's the first pitch to him. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. Mine to the right side. Nimmo is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Ready to take his hacks again, Mike Talkman as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Outside. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Change up low, 2-0. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Stroman gets the sign, 2-1 on its way. Slider finds the zone for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso. First pitch of the at bat. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's one and all. Pitch on the way. 
grounder hit hard down the first baseline and he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth and this will find the wall deep in the corner not in time and he's in there with a double everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year but you never know by that swing he looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double we'll see if that gets him going a bit. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Ramos has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. And he looks at a curveball that falls in one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. set and the 1 1 pitch breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher two and two to the Mets catcher Here now the 2-2. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Line towards center field. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Now that. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning, d -roll. Lead Leadoff double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up, you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. Fouled away. And they're runners at the corners now. The 0 1 pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Chopped on the ground over to first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. On to first to complete the double play. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Michael Conforto. First delivery to him on the way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Well, even though these two teams are in different leagues, they do play each other every year because of the crosstown rivalry, and it's always pretty fun. Yeah, and for the players, Matt, they love it. Not only is there more on the line than usual, like bragging rights, but they're not having to stay at hotels and all that. It's just like a normal home game where they're driving to a different ballpark. Conforto behind a ball and two strikes. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. 
So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, the big RBI minded bat of Ioannis Espinas. From the stretch. Ball. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now the 2 0 home. Well, that's off the plate. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Nope. And he misses again. Ball four, and his control is really letting him down now. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Good up. Settling in now, Robinson Cano. He drew a walk his first time up. Looking to minimize the damage here. Right there for strike one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack, kept his hands inside the ball, and took what the pitcher gave him. So now to the plate, Ahmed Rosario. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. This one skied out toward right. Judge is on the move. A dive, and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Another look here at the gorgeous catch that strands the bases loaded. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. Looking at the advanced data, our researchers found that about 9 of 10 swings are resulting in some sort of contact today, which is well above Major League average. The result has been a lot of balls in play, a lot of hits, and solid run production, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. The and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Strike one to start the at-bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. LeMahieu is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport, and it doesn't matter right-handed or left-handed pitching. He's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands. Hit out towards second. Scooped up, and that's the first out. Now batting, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Here's Miguel Andujar now. 
He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. Line to the right side. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. In now, Mike Ford. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Three homers, 13 RBIs. And he misses with it one and one. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Rip down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. He set now the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So the runner stays at first here with two away, and that brings us to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys topping out at 95 miles an hour. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Here comes the first pitch. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Down is one and two. Stroman comes set, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Cespedes is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one, and it's still three to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. You said he's really proud of the six walks they've earned so far. And while a lot of that falls on the opposing pitching, he appreciates his hitters' willingness to take what's being given to them. Sometimes that can be easier said than done, though. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. When digging in is the outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. On its way is pitch number 75. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. The 1-2. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. Torres picks it up, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The bat, number six. 
Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number 5. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now a flare out to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Jonathan Holder enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Jonathan Holder. So here's Pete Alonzo. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Holder, originally from Mississippi, he was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Comes set and the 0-1. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1-1. One and one. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. time right here to put that runner in motion three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four now the payoff pitch home swing and a high chopper reined in there's one throw on to first won't be in time so they just get the one there so that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Comes set, now the pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Two out with the man at first. Grounded to the right. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Matty, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't understand after blowing a fastball by him, he would speed his bat up with off speed. Yeah, redemption after being late right on time with the off speed pitch next. Into the box now, J.D. Davis. A ball and no strikes. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This one's on the inside corner, one and one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two and one on its way. Michael Conforto would be next. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Two left for the Mets. Score holds, it's three to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. First pitch on its way. In there, strike one. In his career, Judge is working with a slugging percentage over 550, so there's no denying he's one of the premier power bats in the league. Hit well on the ground to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Now ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get the best pitch you can get in the zone, you have to throw it right here. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Three and one to him now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. Clearly he saw something in that pitch that he liked out of the pitcher's hand, but that wasn't a pitch he was going to do a whole lot with. Hit on the ground out to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Now back, the designated hitter, John Carlo. Stanton. So here's the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Stroman gets the sign. Here's the delivery. Oh, that's out. 
going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The 1-0. Oh, that pitch out. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers, as the lead remains three to one. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. No balls and a strike to count. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Got a ball, one strike. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So here's Joanna Cespedes as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. Oh. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 0. Oh. Rounded back up the middle. Mayhew's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now back. Designated hitter. Robinson. Cano. So Robinson Cano will grab a bat next. It was a single for him in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Hey. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3 to 1 ball game. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now 3 and 2. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. They still trail it here, three to one. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Gary Sanchez. The catcher, Gary. First pitch of the at bat. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. High and deep to center field. Going back is the center fielder. Still ranging back. Boom goes the dynamite.
It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 23 for him thus far as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 to one lead. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound, and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Just five innings of work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. Your Brad Brock three. takes over on the mound now, here with nobody out that. in the sixth inning. Number 29, Brad Brock. Mike Talkman will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on. Set here it comes. Ball one. Ball one. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Into the seats, 0-1. No hits to this point. one count here's the pitch That's the ball. one and one now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike yeah Matty you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times, or do I have to sit on something else? Even count, two balls and two strikes. Full count now, three and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving chase is Nimmo, but he won't get there. It falls in, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Well, the bad news is he boxed what looked like a routine fly ball. The good news is the runner wasn't able to advance any further than first base, so that's a play that should have been made, but at least it wasn't more than a one base error. Digging in now for the Yankees, Miguel Andujar, one for two on his line so far in the game. From the stretch. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field. Number 11 for him on the season as it's now a six run ball game. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan Dero, what do you make of all this? Matty V. Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is, this is like crazy. Four round 
triple of the game so now far. That. They're missing First over base. the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters' meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happened. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Oh, and one, here it comes. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. The 1 1 home. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Hey, this is one of those tough outings as a reliever. Just have to keep throwing strikes and believe sooner or later this inning is going to turn around. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. Fielded cleanly, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Brett Gardner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Here's the 0 1. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. On to first, and there were two down. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Striding in, Aaron Judge. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Ramos waits on it, and the inning is over. So, four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We're through six full. The Yankees are out in front, seven to one. Seventh inning ready to roll and stepping up as the shortstop Ahmed Rosario. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The wind up and the 0 1 grounded up the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I got to count one and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. <laughs> one, two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Now the pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the now inside back. corner any better right than that. And as a hitter there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo. Owen won the count. Here's a pop up now and he'll put this away for the second out. Now batter number six.
So here's Jeff McNeil. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right through it here. And he's behind 0 and 1. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They're down 7-1. to one. Rick Porcello comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Rick Porcello. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Torres, he's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back the designated hitter. John Carlo. Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Pitch on the way. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first and Porcello's looking good here. Two away. Now batter. The captain. Gary. Sanchez. Digging in now. Gary Sanchez. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Porcello has his target. First pitch on its way. No balls in one strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're on top seven to one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. One for two in the ball game thus far. Pete Alonzo. Here's the first pitch to him. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. 
A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. Smoke on the ground left side. Oh he makes the stop. It's there and he's out. Now that Pepper Wilson Ramo. Here's the catcher Wilson Ramos. First pitch coming here it is. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Gardner is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batter, third base, JD Davis. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth, and into bed next will be JD Davis. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. Foul. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Michael Conforto would be next. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down seven to one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and Lead next off. to battle be the outfielder, team. Mike Talkman. The left fielder. Mike. Here comes the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespit is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Now batting. The second baseman. DJ. Love Mayhew. Coming to the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And here's another fly ball. This one's heading out to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Miguel Andujar. So far, two for three in this one. Porcello's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really okay. chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And the 2 1. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Gets him looking up around the letters. 1 2 3 go the Bombers. They're on top seven to one.
Zach Britton comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto. The center fielder, Michael Conforto. He's set and the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Now a swing and a ball foul tipped right off our home plate umpire. And with no time to react, that is tough duty back there. Let's hope he's okay. Here now the 2-2. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Gone! A solo home run there for Michael Conforto. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And it's a 7-2 game now. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Now back, left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Just a tick behind for a strike. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Hit to third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting. Designated hitter. Robinson. Cano. Next for the Mets, Robinson Cano. He's one for two in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that nope. sinks a bit too much that time. It's one and oh. Two balls and no strikes to the Mets DH. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Fouled off. Here now the 2 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit now for batting. flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. At the plate, Ahmed Rosario. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far.
He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one. This ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees continue the roll they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The Yankees jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jonathan Holder gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.